Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Jordan, and today we have an exciting conversation lined up. But before we dive into that, let me introduce you to Taylor, my good friend who's joining us today. Hi there. It's great to be here. Just a little bit about myself, I'm a marketing consultant and I spend a lot of my time working with different brands. But outside of work, I love exploring new coffee shops and trying out different blends. How about you, Jordan? Well, I'm an interior designer by profession, which is why I'm always drawn to the ambience of the places I visit. When I'm not working on a new project, you'll find me at a cozy cafe with a book in hand, or catching up with friends. Speaking of catching up, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today, meeting a friend at a local cafe. Cafes are such a big part of social life, don't you think? Absolutely. There's something special about the laid-back vibe of a cafe that makes it the perfect spot to chat, unwind, and enjoy some good coffee or snacks. And for those of you practicing your English, Discussing casual topics like this is a great way to build your conversational skills. Definitely. So let's dive into it. And don't forget, we'd love to hear about your favorite cafes and experiences in the comments below. So, what's your favorite cafe in town? There's this cozy little spot called Brew Haven that I absolutely love. The ambience is just perfect, soft lighting, comfortable chairs, and the aroma of freshly brewed coffee filling the air. They make an incredible caramel macchiato, which has become my go-to order every time I visit. Plus, the staff is super friendly, and they always remember my name, which adds a personal touch. Sounds like a great place. What do you usually do there? I usually go there to unwind after a long day. I'll bring a book or my laptop and just enjoy some quiet time. It's also a great spot for people watching, especially during the weekends when the place is buzzing with activity. Sometimes, I meet up with friends for a casual chat or to catch up on what's new in our lives. The cafe has this warm, welcoming vibe that makes it easy to lose track of time. People watching is fun. Do you have any memorable encounters? Oh, definitely. There was this one time, I overheard a conversation between two strangers, who ended up realizing they were distant cousins. It was like a scene straight out of a movie. Another time, I saw an artist sketching the cafe's interior, and I couldn't resist complimenting her work. We ended up chatting for a bit, and she even gave me a small sketch as a keepsake. Those kinds of moments make the experience even more special. That's awesome. What's your favorite snack to have there? Their blueberry muffins are to die for. They're always fresh out of the oven, with just the right amount of sweetness. I usually pair it with a cup of their house blend coffee, which has this rich, smooth flavor. If I'm in the mood for something savory, their avocado toast is a great choice, crispy bread topped with perfectly ripe avocado, a sprinkle of chili flakes, and a drizzle of olive oil. It's simple, but incredibly satisfying. Nice! Ever tried working from the cafe? I have, and it's surprisingly productive. The atmosphere is relaxed, but there's enough background noise to keep you focused without being distracting. The free Wi-Fi is pretty reliable, too, which is a bonus. I find that working from a cafe gives me a change of scenery that helps spark creativity. Plus, there's nothing like having a steady supply of good coffee to keep the ideas flowing. Cafes can be inspiring. Do you ever meet clients there? Occasionally, yes. It's a more relaxed setting than a traditional office, which helps break the ice and makes the conversation flow more naturally. I usually pick a quieter corner, where we can talk without too much interruption. 
It's also nice to treat a client to a good cup of coffee, it sets a positive tone for the meeting. And, of course, it gives me an excuse to visit my favorite cafe during work hours. That's a great approach. Speaking of cafes, have you noticed any new trends lately? For example, more vegan options or eco-friendly practices? Definitely. Many cafes are now embracing plant-based menus, which is fantastic for those of us who prefer vegan options. I've also seen a rise in themed cafes, places with unique decor, or special concepts like book cafes or cat cafes. Eco-friendly practices are becoming more common too, with cafes adopting zero-waste initiatives and using biodegradable materials. It's great to see these positive changes in the cafe scene. I agree. Do you have any must-visit cafe recommendations? Yes, absolutely. If you're in the mood for a cozy atmosphere, try Café du Monde in New Orleans for their famous bainets. In San Francisco, Blue Bottle Coffee offers fantastic brews in a minimalist setting. For a unique experience, check out the Cat Café in Tokyo, it's a great spot to enjoy coffee while spending time with friendly cats. Thanks for the tips. I'll add them to my list. Do you have any funny or unexpected cafe experiences? Actually, yes. There was this one time when I was so engrossed in my work that I didn't notice a small group of people gathering near the entrance. Turns out, they were filming a segment for a local TV show, and I ended up being in the background of their shot, completely oblivious. When I watched the episode later, there I was, sipping my coffee and typing away, totally unaware. It was pretty hilarious when my friends pointed it out. That's hilarious. Cafés really are full of surprises. It's been great catching up and talking about our favorite cafe moments. I'm sure our viewers have enjoyed this conversation too. Absolutely. Cafes are such a big part of our lives, and it's always fun to share our experiences. Thanks for the chat, Jordan. Thank you, Taylor, and thanks to everyone for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this English shadowing practice, and found it helpful for your conversation skills. Don't forget to share your own cafe stories in the comments below, and if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. See you next time!